Humanity will change more in the next 20 years than in the previous 300. Artificial intelligence, cognitive computing, the Internet of Things. We are at the pivot point of exponential technological change. Don't sit back and wait for change to happen, because by the time it happens, it's exponentially faster than you. Wait and see means wait and die. Do I really want software to think and learn like a human? I want software to help me think like a human. <laughs> software that serves me, not vice versa. Software thinks like a human is the idea of attaining superintelligence, right? Being omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. That's not a good idea. The question is, should technology go inside of us? If you're a futurist or a professor or anybody else, would you like a Wikipedia implant? You can hold quicker speeches. Not impossible. We should use machines to be more human, not make us more like machines. The power of technology has already surpassed the scope of our ethics. When I drive my self-driving car, will it try to kill me if somebody had hijacked it? If I connect my toaster to the internet, will it try to suck me in to be toasted? We can't say, you know what, let's stop artificial intelligence. Let's stop bioengineering because we have ethical issues. Right? Good luck with that. I have a problem with drinking too much, I print a new liver. Right? I mean, is that really going to be our future? 2025 will have the first computer that is going to be as powerful as the human brain in capacity. In 2050, we'll have one computer have the capacity of all of the brains in the world. All of the brains. But if we fail to consider the unintended consequences, such as, for example, an intelligence explosion, these advances could be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. We need to embrace technology, but not become it. Technology is cool, but humanity is cooler. Thanks very much.